Hey, thanks for joining me. Today I want to talk about a knife made by the Western Cutlery Company. Now, this is not a knife that I have a lot of family history with or anything like that. It's, you know, doesn't really have any sentimental value, but it's really one of my favorite knives. Uh, really just because of the way it's made and the quality. Uh, just really, I uh, really love the knife. Now this is a Western Cutlery 648. The 648, this one was made I think probably in the 50s. It's uh, really just beautifully made, and we're going to take a look at it on the workbench here. But what's interesting is that Western Cutlery uh, really has an interesting history. It starts in 1864. Charles Platt immigrates to the United States, starts working, you know, on knives, and um, eventually working at different knife companies. He and the Case family, the Platt family and the Case family, ended up um, through a marital relationship working together, building knives. And there was a point where one of the sons, one of the case sons, would go out and sell knives with the case name on them, and the one of the Platt sons would go out and sell knives with the Platt name on them, and they were the same knives, just you know, stamped with different names. Eventually, due to some health reasons, the case, I mean, the Platt family moved to Colorado, and they started Western Cutlery, and uh, that's where this comes from. The Western Cutlery knives are really beautifully made knives. They take no back seat to the case knives. They're, they're really nicely made. Um, as you'll see when we look at this up close, it's, it's just a really beautifully made knife. And Western actually had some design features that were really unique, patented design features, that I think in some ways make them superior to a case knife, at least on their fixed blade knives. So eventually uh, Western Cutlery was bought by Coleman, I think in 1984, um, and then in 1992 was bought by Camillus and of course when Camillus went out of business so did Western Cutlery. So Western Cutlery uh, sadly is you know no longer in business making knives like Case is and yet these Western Cutlery knives are a great knife to collect. Uh, they're beautifully made uh, like I say every bit in my mind every bit the equal of a Case knife uh, the quality is just fantastic. The, um, they're fairly available they're not too hard to find and they're fairly affordable, especially compared to like some of the case <coughs> case knives. They're quite affordable. So if you know if you're looking for a knife line to collect that you can do kind of on a budget and find some really beautiful knives, um, you might want to take a look at Western Cutlery. They've got some really great ones. So we're going to take a look at this on the workbench. <coughs> if you would, before we get started, please click the like and subscribe buttons, and let's take a look at this knife. Okay, let's look at this Western Cutlery 648. Now, this sheath is not original on this. This is something I made after I bought the knife. And I bought this knife, I found it at an antique store, and it was kind of rusty, and the, the scales were all kind of whitish and dried out looking. So I had to clean the rust off of it, you know, clean up the scales. I um, actually used a um, lemon oil on these to kind of re hydrate them you might say and, and bring some color back into them um, but it's a it's a really just a beautifully made knife if we look at the uh, markings on it you can see it's Western Boulder Colorado USA and the model number is actually on the hilt which is kind of interesting 648 so the um, and the model numbers on Western Cutlery designate the design I, I don't know them off the top of my head but you know the each letter or each number in the series of numbers 648 uh, indicates you know different features on the knife. I think that's what I understand. But this um, Western Cutlery has some really kind of unique design in terms of the way their handles and their uh, tangs are made. You notice this looks kind of like it's a full tang knife, right? But it's actually not. You notice that this brass hilt and these leather washers are open on the back and if this was a full tang like you would think these would just fall off and this would just slide off the end but the way this is actually made is the tang you know it's like a full tang knife but it's got a slot that runs up the middle of it and that slot allows them to slide the brass hilt on and these pieces because they have kind of like an H shape cut out you can kind of see it in the brass Let's get this a little bit closer um, you can almost kind of see it there. There's a piece of metal that actually goes through a slot in the middle of the of the tang. So it's like there's a you know <clears throat> slot and then a solid piece and then another slot. 
and that allows them to slide all the pieces on the end and then put on the pommel and they use two pins one in each of these pieces so it's i think they called it a split tang instead of just a stick going down the middle that's it's either got a nut or you know peened over on the end it's got two pieces that run the length of it pin goes through each of those to hold the pommel on and then all these pieces can slide on without just falling off so it gives you the appearance of a full tang um, but enables them to without having to to uh, silver solder it on or something like that allows them to put the tang on like this kind of a unique design something western cutlery had i believe had patented uh, but just it's just a beautifully made knife i mean the jig bone scales just the quality of it the steel they use now this is carbon steel but the steel they use um used western did is just it's just fantastic it holds a, an edge really well and uh, this knife has just been a pleasure to use so the thing that kind of got me hooked on western cutlery knives actually was one of these now this is a westmark knife made by western cutlery and this is back in the 70s we had a department store in it called TGNY, and they had everything, kind of like Walmart. Well, they had more stuff than Walmart had. I mean, in, in that day and time, you could buy groceries, you could buy. My dad was a photographer. They had photo supplies. They had sporting goods. They had automotive center. They, I mean, just, they had everything. And so it was a huge store. But my dad was good friends with the sporting goods manager. And one Christmas, we went in there, and they had these Westmark knives on sale for like $20. And $20 in the early 70s is well over equal to well over a hundred today i'm sure but it seemed like twenty dollars back then was easier to come by than a hundred is now i don't know but these were about 20 bucks and my dad bought me one the one he bought me was a little bit shorter it was a skinning knife um but this one was my grandfather's and after i got this when my grandfather passed away i gifted uh, the one i had to one of my sons i have this thing about giving knives to my sons anyway but this is a Westmark, I think 702 is the model number, and um, similar construction, you know, you've got this brass hilt that actually, you know, you've got, again, that same slotted tang with two pins on the pommel, um, rosewood scales in this case, beautifully made. The thing that was kind of unique about these knives in their day is the blades were, in the lit literature that came with the knife originally, the, it talked about the blades being made of tool steel and that they were cryogenically treated. Now, cryogenic treating of blades in the 70s was a very new and innovative thing. So Western cutlery at that time was on the cutting edge of, of knife technology. It's a beautifully made knife. And the, and the sheath is, I mean, where do you find a sheath like this? It's made like a holster. Just beautifully made. Um, formed leather, saddle stitched, you know, just beautiful. So th this is the knife that kind of got me started, or these Westmark knives got me started on Western Cutlery as a knife company. I, um, you know, having had some of those, I've known that Western was a knife company that made great knives. So like this one I found, I think I did another video on this one found this on ebay i was looking for a barlow this is western cutlery it was really affordable it was a little bit rusty i had to clean it up um so i think a 622 barlow was the model western cutlery you know bone scales really nicely made and i uh so i've always known that um western cutlery knives were just really good knives so this uh this knife like I say, it's just beautifully made. And if you're thinking about collecting knives, Western is definitely a company to look at. They're, they're fairly available. They're relatively affordable. And the quality is, as I said, it's, I don't think they take any backseat to case. And their tang design, they would argue, and I think others might also, is superior to the stick-type tang that you get on a case knife and many other knives. So this um, just beautiful quality. There's something about using a knife like this. You know, the, the jig bone and the quality of construction. When you take this out and use it, you know, if I go to the outdoors, I'm much more likely to take this than I am maybe, um, you know, something plastic. I love those moras and all that, and they're great knives. They work great. But I just don't get the enjoyment out of 
gripping a plastic and rubber handle as I do out of holding something like this. I mean, you just look at the quality of this, the, the craftsmanship, the handwork that was put into making this. And um, someone put a lot of care and attention and love into their work when they built this. And just to use this um, gives me a, a, just a great sense of, of pleasure. Um, one of my favorite YouTube channels is Wrangler Star. I think he's very popular. And he talks about some things that really just give him the fizz, which is not a term that I had ever heard or used before watching him. But I, I really get what he's saying. You know, something like this just really, there's an enjoyment to to using something like this that just can't be uh, overstated. It's Maybe it's my age, but when I hold something like this, it just, I don't know, I feel really good about being able to use something that's so beautifully made. And it's, you know, it's well made, it's durable, it's not delicate, you know, you can take it out in the woods, you can use it. Um, you know, I don't abuse any knife, but I don't have any problem taking this out and actually using it. it uh, just a, a great knife. Yeah, so I, I did, I, I made this sheath when I got the knife to give it, you know, a way to protect it and keep it secure. So it seems to work pretty good. And um, so it has an, a nice sheath to protect it. Now this knife is not a very big knife. You know, overall, it's just a scooch over eight inches. I think the blade is uh, about four and three eighths and the handle is about three and three quarter roughly. And um, it's uh, not a very large knife. I mean, you compare it to like this little Barlow pocket knife. You can see it's not a very big knife. But for me, it's it's a good size for just general camp chores, um, you know, in the out of doors, things you might do while camping. It's just a great size. It's also, you know, a great size for processing small game. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't be afraid to take on something even deer-sized in terms of processing it with that. Um, but it, uh, it's just a great all-around camp, <clears throat> camp knife. I really enjoyed using it. So if you're looking for, you know, a um, line of knives to collect, um, the Western Cutlery knives are beautifully made. They're fairly available, much more affordable than some other brands. And like I said, just they're just beautifully made. So definitely a, a good line of knives to collect well there you go the western cutlery 648 really just one of my favorite knives i um i just really like the design of this knife and i uh, find it really useful it's a, just a great camp knife all around outdoor use knife not a very large knife but for a lot of you know just daily camp chores it's just a great knife and um just really beautiful to hold and use the quality is just fantastic. Anyway, if you have any thoughts or comments, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I always appreciate it when you watch my videos. So as always, thanks for watching.